Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and in today's video, we will be going over how to create a Roblox game with multiple people. Now, what I mean by this is, this is called Team Create. So you can have multiple people inside one single base plate, all working at the same time. I thought it would be a good idea to create a video on how to do it, as many people continue to ask me how I add friends or other developers into my Roblox Studio base plate. So for starters, you want to make sure that you are actually inside of your main Roblox base plate where we're going to be adding the other members into. So Roblox has previously had the area where you add people into your game in a variety of different ways. One moment it was over here in this button, next moment it was in game settings, now it's been moved somewhere else. So it has been a little bit confusing for new Roblox members because they watch older tutorials on how to add people into their game. But it's just, you know, it's gone and moved and gone and changed and it's getting a little bit confusing. So I thought I'd give you an updated version on how you actually do it. Now it's actually incredibly easy. So all you do is you go into your main Roblox base plate here, you go to the top right, click on the big blue collaborate, you will not miss the button, right at the top right of the screen, click on that, and now you're able to manage your collaborators or basically manage your members. So this is now our main search bar. This is where we can add our members that we want to give access to the Roblox game. So either play permissions or edit permissions, but we'll get to that here in a second. Anyway, so let's go and put in the username of your um, developer or your friend. You want to go and paste in that username and then it will show up here with the username, show you all the different options and you can kind of choose which one is the best. But anyway, this is our friend up here, xx underscore peep1. They are our friend, so I'm going to go and select their username there or go and select them and now they are put just underneath me and now you can see they've been added into the main uh, collaborator page. Now this is where we're able to adjust their permissions. So we can, on default, when a player is your friend on Roblox, they are given the edit permission. But let's say they are not your friend, they will only be given play permissions, meaning they'll only be able to play the game. But let's say they, um, for example, the only time you'd really have play is if a player is a tester and you're not wanting them to have access to your main Roblox game, uh, access to edit the game. But let's say they are a developer and Peep is now going to come and do some developing for me, do some scripting, then I would give them edit permissions. Now let's say you're wanting to remove someone, you simply click X next to the name and now they're gone and click on save. But we want to add back here, peep, and then we're going to give them edit permissions so they can actually access the base plate with us. So now when, once you've gone and put the person's name in, I'm going to go click on save. Now people eventually join into the base plate with us. So as you guys can see, we went and saved our collaborator page. And as we guys can see, we've currently got xxpeep1 here, currently in the base plate. And now they are able to edit inside of the base plate. They can build, they can script, they can change really whatever. They've got access to edit absolutely everything in your game. Obviously, you've got the main power because you can go and remove them. They can't remove you because you are the main holder of the... Uh, base plate so you you have the most power but they have all the power inside of your game regarding they can delete models they can add models they can add scripts so you've got to make sure that you actually trust this trust this person to add them inside of your game now to prevent any data loss or to pre prevent any sabotaging i would highly recommend you download a copy of your game before you actually share it with anyone so to do this you click on file up here and you download a copy of your game and then you save it to your computer so if they, let's say it was a scam or it was a, um, maybe a, they lost some buildings, then you can always get those buildings back by simply adding it back there. And you can see Peep is actually doing a little bit of building here right now. So that basically shows you that they can do absolutely anything inside of your base plate. But now let's say Peep only had play permissions because right now they've got edit permissions. But let's say they had play permissions, they would only be able to join into the main Roblox game. Just how you join into, for example, Phantom Forces or Arsenal, they will be able to join just like that. But even though the game is private, they will have access. So this will only work if the game is private. If the game is public, they'll, anyone is able to join. But this is just giving them exclusive access to the game early. For example, let's say you are having some testers play your game. This is the permission. What in the world's going on here? But this is the permission that you would give the player if they are actually testing the game. You wouldn't want to give them edit permissions because then they can edit your game. You're only wanting to give them play permissions because they are only testing the game. But obviously you go and adjust the player's permission really however you would like. But hopefully that kind of gives you a little bit of a better understanding on how you can actually adjust the permissions and how you can actually add players to access and play your game. But that is pretty much it. You and your friends can now go and create your very own Roblox game all together. But anyway, if you guys are a little bit lost and you're needing a little bit of assistance, feel free to contact us on Discord and we can happily help you out. 
But anyway guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see everyone in the next Roblox Studio video.